on. You know I'm ignorant. I'm at my house party acting. Telling my guests that I don't use it. Then turn around and I do it again. Act like a saint. Who am I to pretend? Asking the Lord to forgive all my sins. My fingers crossed behind my back with a grin. I sin, I sin. I feel like the box. I win, I win. Again and again, again and again. Now they telling their friends. I don't know who my friends. They like to pretend. See me going very far. Now I be overseas with the mob. I get paid when I pass a bar, but I got no love for the law. I can't remember when I had a job. Back when they wouldn't build, now they bob. I still got paper tags on my car. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Killers and the Honey Badgers. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. Joined by Dan Plezak and Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. You know, I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run. So as the season gets started, it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot, it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Chris Sale gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, looking at the numbers, you can see this guy had an ERA over four last season. He'd like to do a lot better than that. He's got to do a much Leading better off, job sure. of keeping base runners well, off the bases. John. Cut the walks down and try to limit the hits per nine innings pitched. Jumai Jones is oh, in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. First pitch, 107. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now here it comes. The temperature here at game time still definitely on the cool side 51 degrees at first pitch. A ball and two strikes here's the pitch. Oh, and a nice change up that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. Next to hit Austin Hayes. Austin. Here's the pitch. Ball one, no strike. Ball two. Two and oh. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. A 3-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Back 
out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Ready now is Ryan Mountcastle. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. He's set and the pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Hayes leads off first with one away. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. That is cool. The first base. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Matty, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day. And when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on MLB Network. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The designated hitter, Xander Bogarts. Here it comes. Base hit, and that's their first of the new campaign. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Hero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Matty, this lineup's got to be willing to adjust. They cannot stay staunch and try and pull everything, or there will be a ton of ground ball and weak fly ball contact. They have to be willing to use line to line to get this done today. First offering on its way. J.D. Martinez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Not close. It's two and oh. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Three and oh now. 
We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Batting four. The third baseman. Here now is Rafael Devers in his career against this pitcher. He's got three base hits in 18 at bats. First offering. Bounced softly in front of the plate. There's one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Batting fifth. The right field. Hunter. So now here is Hunter Renfro looking to put them ahead early with this at. First pitch of the AB now. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. The set and the 1 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. So here's Trey Mancini, and he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one. Hey this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Hits this one hard the other way. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. Hey, let me tell you about outfielder J.D. Martinez. We already know he's one of the biggest bats in the game, the ability to go deep to all parks. But I don't think people realize how good a defender this guy is. The ability to go back on the ball and a strong arm to boot. Rio Ruiz to the plate now as he will take strike one on the field and a strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Hey this middle round selection is still developing but he's doing it at the big league level and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Can't get him to chase it's one and two. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. Around first he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. He was able to spit on that first slider right there guys but he didn't let the second one go able to execute and drive the baseball. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? Batting seven. The right fielder. Anthony. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Whoa, 
the set and the 1 0 2 and 0 now if you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher you got to find yourself in some great counts and he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 count right here. The set and the 2 and 0. Mm, pretty good cut there but it's to 2 and 1 now. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have barrel accuracy. 3 and 1. Ruiz stands at second with two gone. Weak rounder back to the mound. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Now at the plate, here is Kike Hernandez. His career numbers in this matchup, he's a 333 hitter. First pitch on the way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go nope, elevated fastball. Hernandez behind the ball and two strikes. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Fouled off. The payoff pitch one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded by Galvis. Throw is low and he can't get it to stick in the webbing. Wow, as we take another look, I have to wonder if the first baseman just kind of took it for granted. Next thing you know, he drops the ball and the runner is safely aboard. He's not going to be happy with himself about that one. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now and he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right in there a base hit throw into second and there are two away now. Oh man I don't know how that happened Looked to be a base hit to the outfield but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate to be honest that just can't happen. In now Christian Vasquez as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one his career numbers against this pitcher he hasn't had much success just two for eleven. Oh one count here's the pitch swings through it for strike number two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a 
fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Nope. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Ready with the two and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. New inning set to get underway, and up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Good range shown off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The one two. Down the line and fair that's a hit. Running hard he's digging for second. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so when he got the changeup, he was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Into the box now, Jumai Jones. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. The 1 0 home. Skied down the left field line. Martinez is going to get there as he backs up to put it away and there are two gone now. Now batting the center fielder Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes the next to bat runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch on its way. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0 1. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game.
Fastball well outside. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate and the count moves to one and two now. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone you got to find a way to regroup adjust the batting gloves only look over the heart of those 17 inches. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He collected a base hit his first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. First pitch of the A-B now. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. That evens it up one and one. Here it comes. Hit on the ground toward the left. Galvis has it. Close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. All right, so let's turn to show track for a more in-depth look at that one. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop, and the jump throw with a lot behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. Alex Verdugo digging in now. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 and 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Jones is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Bases are empty here with two away, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. It's offering. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. Line drive to left. Jones able to track it down for the third out. Stepping in once again is Ryan Mountcastle into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the harder plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. The 1-1. One, one. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. 
So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both guys throwing the country hardball so far. Top speeds of 95 and 97. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And now the first pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. That misses 1 and 2. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight changeup, El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed and the ball, it just doesn't get there. At the plate, Rio Ruiz. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Now the 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Now the 2 0. Is taken strike one. Two out, nobody on. Taken strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Bottom of the inning now, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. First delivery to him. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. And there's the first strike, 2 1. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Hunter Renfro. Up next, Hunter Renfro. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter, number five, second baseman, DK Hernandez. Into the box, and is struck out. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. And Hayes will make the catch. This side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Pat Valaika. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Hit hard, but foul. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And this is taken in for out number one. Now batting, right fielder, Anthony Santander. Next to stand in is Anthony Santander. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on the way. Now the 1 0. The swing and a miss, strike one. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater middle cut right there in a fastball count. He's going to have to turn it up a notch. And it's fouled away. Here comes the one two. Fouled away. One out nobody on. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Stepping in now Freddie Galvis. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped up, Dawback has a play. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. into the box Bobby Dahlbeck 0 for 1 for him here in this one the first baseman Bobby Dahlbeck. first pitch on its way And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. No Check swing there. They'll appeal down to Gary Simmons. And it'll be strike one as he signals he wasn't able to hold up. And the pitch on 2-1. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Now to the plate, Marwin Gonzalez, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. 
And they don't need anything special from him right here. They need to find a way to just move that runner up 90 feet. Don't be shocked if the sack bunk gets laid down. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home to the left side. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe around. Now batting, catcher. And now Christian Vasquez flew out last time up. From the belt, the pitch. Runner at second here with one man out. In the dirt here. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 and 0. As a look, now the pitch. Hard hit at third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. No, he's in it. Now back. The designated hitter. Sander. Close up. Here's Xander Bogarts now as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 0 1 pitch. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. Yeah this is straight survival mode down 0 2 the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pops this one up. And no one will track it down. The next 0 2. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot. And he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Here comes the one two he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Into the box, Alex Verdugo, high in the air down the right field line. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and next to hit is the catcher, Pedro Severino. The catcher, Pedro. Pitch on the way. Check swing there. They'll appeal down to Gary Simmons, and it'll be strike one as he signals he wasn't able to hold up. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I don't understand why he's taking. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Three two pitch is swung on and missed he got him on strikes 
Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Standing in now, Jumai Jones. Shot down the line, it's a fair ball. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. In now Austin Hayes as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one he went down on strikes last time up the 0 1 on its way in there now the throw it skips in and he's safe close play but he's in there you know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he didn't work out. That was really impressive. Oh, and two, here it comes. And he strikes out. And oh boy, all he needed was a fly ball somewhere to give him the lead, but instead, there are two gone now. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The set and the 1 0. Low and away as he misses again. 2 0. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. The 2 0. Good fastball down around the knee for a strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run left stranded. Here's J.D. Martinez. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. Now here's the pitch. A ball and a strike. Now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Left. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right. Well, he hit that ball well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the Rafael Devers the next to bat as he takes a cold strike on the bow and one. Well it's been a good outing so far but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals to contact kind of guy and obviously it's working for pitches it really keeps his pitch count down. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch but it's one and one. Swung on and missed one and two now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate pound two balls in and they get right back outside nice pitch
Here comes the one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Here he comes again one two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there really battles doesn't take any pitches off he's a grinder always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Three one of the things you want to do with a starter likes. Pulls this one into the air out into right field on the run is Santander. He makes the play really had to hustle to get to that one two gone now. The right fielder number 10. Hunter Renfro. And now in the box Hunter Renfro he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Now here's the first offering. And this is taken outside for ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Skied into straightaway right. Santander grabs it to retire the side. At the plate now is Trey Mancini. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Pitch on the way. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 0. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A ball and two strikes. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. So now to the plate Rio Ruiz as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. Very impressive outing so far His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Verdugo will range to his left and put it away. Two down. 
Now batting, second base, Pat Valenka. Digging in next, Pat Valenka. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Now the 1 0. -oh. Up high, 2 and 1 now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Well, when you've been out there as long as he has, you have to expect to lose a little precision in your location. He's up over 90 pitches now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. Next up is Anthony Santander. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he misses two and one. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Digging in will be Freddie Galvis, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. One and one. Here it is. Valaika at second. Santander on at first with two down. And there's a base hit on the line. Run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Boy, those have to feel really good, Dero. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. 
Into the box now, Pedro Severino, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's working on a 1 for 2 game so far. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. So the next to bat will be Jumai Jones. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And now the first pitch. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Comes set the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. No balls, two strikes. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. So one run on one hit, no errors, and three left. So now into the box is Kike Hernandez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup, it's ball one. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did, it's ruled a strike. Line, but speared on a hop. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The bat, the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Next to hit is Bobby Dahlbeck. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly and quickly. There are two away. Now batting. Good stop. Far away. Good call out. Next here is Marwin Gonzalez. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Two out, nobody on. Fastball called for strike two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away, putting another scoreboard. 
And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Ryan Brazier is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Now to the plate, here is Austin Hayes. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. One, no and he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. The 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. The next three two. High in the air down the right field line. Renfro is over a few steps toward the line and he has it for the first out. It's a bullpen game for them now as we have a look at the starters final line and that's exactly how he hoped to get this season started on opening day. Well this is one of those as a pitcher where you don't get rewarded for pitching well. He threw the ball great in this one didn't get months run support he's in line for the loss and he deserves a much better fate. He threw the ball pretty well in this one. Ryan Mountcastle is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. It could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. He wants that change up back right there. Great arm action on that change up hitter was just a smidge out in front. Ready on 0 and 2. Swing and a line drive. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. One out, nobody on. Get down the line at first. Scooped up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Very tight ball game so far. One nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Trey Mancini. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. Hey this could be a anthem this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. A ball and a strike now. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Oh, 
Paul Fry is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Lead is Christian Vasquez. Time against this particular arm. He's a 333 hitter. Here's the first pitch to him. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Behind 0 and 2 now. And he fouls this one off. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Another one sent foul. The next 0 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And there's a final look at the numbers for the starter in this one. And that's exactly how he hoped to get this season started on opening day. Hey, what a great job of mixing speeds and mixing up his pitches. Two hits allowed in this one. Dominant performance. To the plate now, Xander Bogarts. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. One and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. The center field, number 99. Next to dig in, Alex Verdugo. He flew out in his last AB. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a soft liner. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Darwin's in Hernandez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So kicking off the top of the ninth is Rio Ruiz trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. First pitch of the A.B. now and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing in one.
goodness. 0-2 now. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder is on the run and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Now batting the second baseman, Pat Valaika. Next up, Pat Valaika. No hits to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Now here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Verdugo is there, two gone. Now back the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Stepping in next, Anthony Santander. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. One and one. Ball one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. Part of the order at 3, 4, and 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The Killers on top, one to nothing. Cesar Valdez is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Martinez. Now here's the first offering. On the ground to the left side. Galvis is there. And that's the first out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. The right fielder, number 10, Hunter. So next to bat will be Hunter Renfro. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. From the stretch. And he fouls this one off. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Fielded by Galvis. Throw on to first is in time to get him. And the Killers move to 1 0 on the young season as this ball game is over. A single run good enough to do it today. 1 0 the final score. Charlotte jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. 
John Means gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Chris Sale is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Cesar Valdez closes the door for the save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. 